Okay, I wanted to talk to you today. We hear the word so much about um, being a watchman on the wall. I've got the watchman's anointing. Um, I'm a watchman in the spirit. I wanted to challenge you today about being a watchman over your own life. Proverbs 4, 23 through 27. Above all else, guard your heart, for everything you do flows from it. Keep your mouth free of perversity. Keep corrupt talk far from your lips. Let your eyes look straight ahead. Fix your gaze directly before you. Give careful thought to the paths for your feet and be steadfast in all your ways. Do not turn to the right or to the left. Keep your foot from evil. And just to encourage you, it's great to be a watchman over others and it's a great to be a watchman over your church and over your family and over your friends and over nations. But I wanna encourage you, are you being a watchman over yourself? Are you guarding your heart above all things? We were going through, Jeff and I were going through a tough situation a couple of years ago, and we had some dear free, sweet friends stick their finger in our face and just tell us, you're not guarding your heart. And so we tried to justify our feelings and justify our circumstances and just let them know that they didn't understand what was going on. And they quickly said, it doesn't matter what's going on. It is your job to guard your heart above all things. So. It's biblical to be a watchman, and it's biblical to, to be that gatekeeper for others. But I wanna challenge you to make sure first and foremost, you are that gatekeeper for yourself. You have got to be the one that is guarding your heart, who's making sure that perverse speech, and I'm not sure if I even said that right when I was reading the verse now that I think about it. Um, you've gotta make sure that perverse speech is far from your lips. It's what you're speaking edifying and encouraging. It's what you're speaking based in the love of God. And you can speak hard things and you can speak truth in the love of God. It's just a matter of being a little intentional and taking a second to formulate how it needs to be said. I have spoken truth to before in the love of God and it was well received. Um, I've spoken it in the love of God and it was not well received. But both times I took the, the time to sit back and go, okay, God, how does this person need to hear this so it will be received? And it's not about me confronting. It's not about me holding accountable. It's not about me doing anything other than being that connectivity to God. But first and foremost, I have to start it in my own life. Um, uh, so many times we're so consumed with others around us and we think we're living the life that we're teaching others about, but are we really? So I wanna challenge you with just a few things today. One, to guard your heart above all things, to be a watchman over your life first and foremost before anybody else's, and to make sure that what is coming out of your speech, out of your thoughts, it's edifying and encouraging and it's lifting others up around you and it's not being soft it's not being um you know uh every phrase i can think of is not appropriate right now but it's not just being soft around situations it's it, it is truly going god how does this need to be voiced god how does this need to be said so it will be received because if you're saying words and they're not going to be received they're just falling on the wayside so love people enough to take the time to ask god what do they need to hear at this moment at this time and even ask god god what do i need to hear at this moment in this time for myself maybe you need to turn off the tv the radio put the book down and just sit with god and just be in his presence and you know father what do you have to say to me so I wanna encourage you today, be a watchman over your own life before you're a watchman over anybody else's life or over um, even over your own household because that's how we can turn the verse that talks about there's a plank in your eye and you're trying to get the speck out of someone else's. That's where that imbalance can come from is because we're doing a great job at watching everybody else, but we're forgoing our own spiritual health in the process. So guard your heart above all things and be a watchman over your life above all. Thank you so much.